These days, more and more of us get the opportunity to work from home. And dedicating an entire room for a workspace can be a tough situation for a household. I've got two ideas you've got to see when it comes to creating an office when you don't have the room for it. My first option is you will need to embrace this time for organizing and cleaning your home because this office idea will take you into the closet. I know it may seem unconventional, but I've got tips on making it easy for you. I have two considerations for selecting the closet. The first, select a closet that has the closest power source to it. This way, you're not having to trail the wires, which could be unsightly and a tripping hazard. The next, make sure your closet is deep enough to fit a desk, a chair, and shelving. I know you're probably asking, where do I put all of this? But minimalizing your closet is something I know you've been putting off, and no better time than now. Now comes the fun part, color. Come on, it's a closet. You can totally have fun with it. For this closet, we chose Magnolia Home by Joanna Gaines. The color is Magnolia Green. It's a fresh, calming color. Just the feeling you want when you are hard at work. The biggest tip when picking a color, don't go too dark. This space doesn't have a lot of adequate light. So by choosing a more neutral, lighter color, you are able to keep the existing closet or use a side desk lamp. To help make your decision even easier, try these peel and stick paint swatches. Try them with different lighting and make sure you love the look of the color before you pick up your paint and a paintbrush. With the closet now painted, adding shelves will establish some additional storage for this closet. Get the approximate measurements of your must-haves of office supplies. From your monitor to your binders, make a plan on paper of the closet and the size of the shelves that suit your space. Whether you make them yourself or buy them, my biggest tip is to make sure they are level and secure. The last thing you need is an office avalanche. If you're hard pressed for storing some clothing in here, I suggest dedicating a shelf for that storage, using the space on either side of the desk. With the color on, my last tip for you is the door. I'm a fan of keeping the doors on your closet. This way you don't feel like you're thinking about work. You can just shut those doors and hide it from view. If that feels like a little too tight for you, then try a barn door. This is a great option for the space. My second option is great for a living room, basement, or even a bedroom corner. Find a room that will fit this workspace. With this concept, the room now serves as a dual purpose, office and living space for your family. My tip for you, consider a brand like Magnolia Home Paint by Joanna Gaines. There's 150 curated colors that were all designed to mix and match, so you can't make a bad decision on color. I've already painted the room, and the color is cupola. A great contrasting color is Duke Gray, a neutral color that really accents the living room. So let me show you how easy it is to set an office scene and make it work. Choose a corner with an appealing background, this way, if you have pets or kids making an appearance during that video call, you aren't having to juggle the interruptions. I've got this set up in my home, and the rule for the household is, when I'm in the office corner, do not disturb. And that's it for my color tips and product picks for creating a space-saving office solution. We're coming up with some more awesome videos this year, and it's just for Ace Rewards members, because you don't want to miss out on any of these great videos, reward offers, and more. Thanks to Ace, the helpful place.